Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm a senior on ASB this year. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm a senior also on ASB this year. So basically, we're just going to go around and all the panel members are going to introduce themselves and say a little bit about themselves. So um, I'm on the rowing team at the NAC and I'm also an ASB. So Ryan Tanner, why don't you go? My name is Ryan Tanner. I'm a senior and I'm on water polo. Awesome. Um, I'll just call you guys out as you appear on my screen. So Max, do you want to go now? Um, I'm Max Sunshine. I'm a senior. I'm in uh, AGS and I'm also in youth and government. Okay, Emma. Uh, hi, I'm Emma Howman, and I'm a senior on ASB. Kate? Um, I'm Kate. I am also a senior, and I have been in youth and government and on pep squad since freshman year. Tara? Hi, I'm Tara. I'm also a senior, and I'm on speech and debate and HRC. Okay, perfect. So as you guys can see, we have kind of like a diverse panel and now we're just going to go around and ask some questions um, at some of the people in the panel. So Ryan, why don't you go first? Yeah, so I'll go ahead and start with the first question. Uh, so Emma, how would you recommend that freshmen go about picking their classes, maybe for next year or junior year? Um, like what should be the, the motives and what should be in the back of their minds? Um, definitely pick classes that you're interested in. That's, I think, some of the mistakes that we have all made. We just chose a class because um, maybe one of our friends took it and we wanted to take it, but I promise you will not enjoy it if you're not interested in that subject and you won't do well, especially AP classes. You really have to enjoy the subject or else you're not going to be motivated to put in the work and you're, I mean, you'll see that in your grade. So that would be my big thing is just focus on yourself and focus on choosing what you want to do and what you think will help you the most. For sure. Does anyone on the panel want to add anything to that or should you sum it up? All right. I think we're good. Ash. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, Emma. So my next question is going to Kate. Um, what are some of your go-to study tips or methods? Um, my favorite, um, like a tip that I would say would be for at least myself, I get so distracted when I'm like in my house and there's like a ton of stuff going on. And so usually I'll go out to, um, either the library, which is unfortunately closed right now, but it's opening back up soon. So when that reopens or also, um, like a coffee shop or like some like cute little restaurant where I can sit in a corner and kind of put my head down and have some like background noise, but like not my family, like yelling in the background um and then I also really like to just keep organized and make sure that all my notes are like legible and that I'm like really proud of them and I think that honestly helps me so yeah awesome does anyone have anything to add yeah so I'd say a good study tip and it's not always applicable but if you can study with people I think it really helps to bounce ideas off of people. And nowadays it's not too hard to jump on a Zoom and just talk to people or group FaceTime. I think it really helps because I think you often find yourself really worried about a test, which is normal, but chances are everybody else is too. So you can kind of talk and teachers are gonna be less accessible. So group study sessions are great. Awesome, thank you. Um, so, oh yeah, Max, you want to add? Uh, just one more thing to add. Not all teachers offer this, but if you do have a teacher that um, is offering practice tests, I would highly recommend them. They've saved my grade in many, account, uh, many classes and the teacher's normally there so you can ask them questions while you're taking them. So those are Yeah, great. Um, so the next question, um, and I'll shoot this one at Tara. Uh, so what is the most important thing you've learned so far in your high school career? That's a good one. It's a big one too. Um, 
I think to not take yourself so seriously because I think especially coming in as a freshman, you have all these ideas and you want to do everything perfectly and you get discouraged if you don't, but the odds are you're probably not. Um, and so I think I would say do try things as a freshman. This is kind of your year where you have a lot of leeway. You have the time to join groups and maybe you figure out they're not for you or take classes and realize you don't like this certain subject and you won't take the AP course of it. So the best advice, if I sum it up um, in one sentence is trust yourself um, and don't worry too much because I've, I've worried too much and it's okay to worry, it happens, but it's not worth it to over worry. Absolutely. Kate, why don't you add on a bit to that? You're on mute. Oh, and then we'll hit Emma after. I think just something really quick is like freshman year, I kind of like for me specifically, I'm super passionate about like writing in English, for example, right? And freshman year, like I kind of figured that out a little bit, like in my English class, like class, like man, like I'm like a little bit I like this, you know, and I just recommend like the biggest thing that I've learned is like, if you find yourself like enjoying something, you know, and like wanting to do it on your own time, like dive into it. I swear to you, like literally like chase it and like take the, take the classes and like enjoy yourself and, and everything because like you'll learn so much when you love it and you'll find like that little like niche that you're like really good at and that can like translate to after high school and like if you want to join clubs or like organizations like just if you find something that you're like passionate about just like learn as much as you can about it and get good at it because like it'll be a lot more fun for sure emma if you want to add a little more yeah so what i was gonna say it kind of like bounces off of what tara was saying is like don't um, get so caught up on the little things. Like, I, I mean, I, looking back, I don't remember, you know, what I got on a certain test or how I did in a class. I think about, you know, the friends that I met and the experiences that I had in the football game. So just have fun. Um, I mean, obviously try and do well, focus on school, get good grades, but don't get so caught up on the little details that um, could stress you out. Absolutely, thank you. Awesome, okay, my next question is for Ryan Tanner. Um, what tips do you have for dealing with bad grades or rejection, like not making a team or not getting a scholarship or not getting a good grade in a class? Like, how do you deal with that at CDM? So I actually have these minute experience in grades and things like this. And my advice firstly is to just accept it what has happened has happened like for example i'll bring up uh sophomore year i've got i got two c's <laughs> and it wasn't great and i was like how this happened but what i would recommend is don't freak out it's okay you're not gonna die just breathe just um create a plan for the next time so what did you do wrong look at yourself very honestly and began to develop a plan and also part of it's holding yourself accountable too because even though in the moment you might be really frustrated it takes a bit of perseverance to be willing to change and lastly i would suggest um, not to be too hard on yourself and to just to be not only hopeful for the future but willing to put in the work in the future and break those habits Awesome. Thanks, Ryan. Um, Kate, you want to add on? Yeah. Um, going from more of like a, like a organization standpoint, like let's say you don't make a club or like a department or something. I think that um, leadership at CDM and different clubs and everything is really good at picking people that are exactly right for that club and organization. And I promise you that if you like go out there and do something completely different or you, there are so many things out there. Like if you go and apply yourself in a different area, you will find something that you are better fitted for because leadership is so good at kind of choosing um, people that would actually thrive in, in those areas, you know? And so I think, if you just keep trying and putting yourself out there, I swear you're going to find something that's like 
a million times more you and more and more fun despite how much of yourself you see in that club already you know so it's just a matter of like really keeping an eye out awesome thanks kate um tara do you want to add something else yeah so you'll hear this a lot but i think it's really true and it's that grades don't define you and as much as you tell yourself they do they really don't i think you if you have your heart set on a certain grade trend or a certain type of grade on a transcript, then that's really good and you should have a goal. But if you don't reach it, I think that you should also not be upset with yourself. And if you're worried about colleges and seeing that like, oh, I've got this grade and I'm not gonna get accepted anywhere, they really just wanna see an upwards trend. So if something goes wrong in freshman, sophomore year, Try to fix it and keep working hard and it will all kind of round out in the end. It's excellent advice. Love it. Um, Emma, last ad for this um, one. So this is more kind of about like a bad grade or um, something in that sense is it took me a while to realize that your teachers are really there to help you like utilize them, go in during office hours, lunch, whatever they are willing to help you because they are, they want you to do well. They're not trying to give you a bad grade just to give you a bad grade or have you fail the class. Like they want to show you what you need to improve on and they're there to help you improve on it. So just take the time, get to know your teachers and really utilize their help. One little thing to add on to that. Um, that I just want to throw in there is I think we've all gotten a bad grade on a test, but that was not the end all be all. And that was not the thing that depicted our grade in general. Like the teachers know what they're doing and they're not trying to give you a test that will like define your entire grade. Like no one thing is going to plummet your grade down. So if you get one bad grade on a test, it's going to happen and you just have to be fine with it. And you have to, like Ryan said in the beginning, you just have to accept that and kind of move forward from it. I think I'm also asking the next question. Um, so this is for Max. Um, how do you handle the competitiveness and the really competitive culture at CDM? Well, I think the answer to this is kind of similar to that last question. Um, it's really just important to keep everything into a broader perspective. What's happening today, um, you'll probably knock it and remember 30 years from now, you're not going to remember um, that one test score you got or that one grade in one class. Um, I think what's important is um, at the end of the day, looking back on if you did everything you could in your power to study and um, what you took away from the class. And that can be friends. It can be a closer relationship with the teacher. It can be um, understanding is a concept better. And the material grade is not going to be what is valuable to you um, in the long term. So I think that it's just important to keep that in mind. And the other thing you want to keep in mind is that like it, it does seem very competitive at times, but we're all here to do the same thing. We're all taking classes together. I'm sure the person that you think is um, competing with you or whatever, you could ask them to study together and they'd be happy to, or you ask them to explain a subject. Like practice and talking to friends while studying is probably like the two best ways for me to understand a concept because if I don't someone else in the class probably does so um, I would just try to keep it adding on to that a little more like the question um, does anyone have any tips about like along with the competitiveness at CDM that also leads to a lot of comparison so does anyone have anything to say about you know the comparison that happens Tara go ahead um, I think it's important to remember that you have a completely different circumstance than somebody else and every aspect of your life is going to differ from that from theirs and you can't it's almost impossible to compare or for it to be a fair comparison and so you should kind of think of asking yourself the question of under my circumstance did i do my best and if that answer to that question is yes then that's kind of the idea you have to keep in your mind throughout any situation where you, you might need to compare or feel the need to compare yourself. Awesome, thanks Tara. Um, okay, my next question is going out to Emma Hellman. 
What are some of the little things that you look back on from your high school experience and you now wish that you appreciated more? Um, that's a hard question, but I really, um, I mean, okay, so this is kind of specific in like what you're involved in, but everything you're involved in, there's going to be like some things you don't enjoy or you're going to have to do something that maybe you don't want to or it's going to put you in an uncomfortable position but just embrace that because I wish I enjoyed it a little more like for example in ASB we have to stay late sometimes to um get ready for rallies and while I was tired it was after practice I just wanted to go home or at a test tomorrow I wish I enjoyed it a little more I wish I enjoyed being around the people that I love and that I um, just kind of took it in a little more because that's gonna go away and this year being under these circumstances I don't get to experience that and I'm sad about it so just think about every little aspect you're involved in and just enjoy being with the people you're with Thanks, Emma. That was really good advice. Um, Kate, do you want to add on to that? Yeah, so just really quick. Um, as I said, I'm on pep squad, and I'm more specifically on song. You guys probably don't know the difference, but um, all of us will go to the football games and perform, right? And so um, I, even, like, as a student, um, like, I would always be wishing that, like, oh, like, I wish that I could have just, like, been in the stands, right? But, like, that goes to even more general of just like being at the events like I wish that I would have um like soaked that up more because like you'll realize like looking back like the energy of of some like events and like that kind of thing when you're like with all of your peers like outside of your friend group like yeah like when you're in it it feels uncomfortable but looking back like those are the best memories you know what I mean like your entire class is just like rallying behind your school and it's like I can't even explain it you know like you're in it and you're just like oh my gosh this is cool but when you look back at it it's it's something else like basketball too like those and volleyball like those get so crazy and dances and everything like I just urge you to like enjoy the energy at those at those places you know um and those events even though they might look different this year like the energy is still there 1000 percent, and you really just gotta like be involved and you you get what you put into it so if you're really spirited and into it like you'll get a, a reward and you'll get like those relationships that you build and it's so cool absolutely that was awesome kate um I'll ask the next question, um, and that is going to go to Emma. Uh, so how do you deal like with the clickiness at CDM? Um, it's tough because it's around you. It's always going to be around you. But I try and focus on the people I'm actually friends with who are good friends to me, who are there for me, who will support me. And I just try and stick with them and make sure that that relationship is really strong because those are the ones who are going to follow me through college and hopefully, you know, past that. Um, but getting through it, you just have to know your own values and what you want out of your high school experience and just try not to let other people bring you down in that way. For sure. Uh, Kate? Really quick, um, I just wanted to say like the like viewing CDM as clicky I think has not benefited me in the past whatsoever because if you think of your school and your community around you as like clicky and yourself as like an outsider of all of these clicks or whatever, like that's what the word kind of like means to me. I think that like you put walls up and you like expect that from people and like you expect for it to be clicky but I think that when you begin to like look at the big picture of like we're all just like here at the same time and we're going to school and we have our friend groups and that kind of thing and you kind of get past the anxiety of like talking to people not in your immediate friend group that like clickiness factor like goes down exponentially so it really comes down to just like being the first one to initiate that kind of thing. And I swear, like, it'll get a lot easier to just like talk to people and like make friends outside of your friend group, so. 
just viewing it different for sure. Yeah, thank you. Okay, perfect. Um, I think we're on our last question, so I'm gonna give it to Max. Um, what is something you wish someone had told you when you were a freshman, sophomore, junior that you know now, but you wish you knew? You can take a little time to think if you need. Um, I would probably, I would have loved for someone to uh, tell me to savor all the time because it really goes by really quick. And that's kind of a cliche, but um, I still remember my freshman year, like it was yesterday. And I just feel like the entire my time at CDM has gone by very quickly. And um, I wish I stopped and just took everything in a little bit more um, before everything got quite as busy as it is now. Um, so I would just say try to appreciate everything that is going on in these next couple of years and try to uh, consciously think about um, what you're doing and when you're having like a good time at school or a good time at uh, school events or just anything like that. Yeah, Ryan, if you want to add on. So I'm going to echo that because I vividly remember uh, my freshman year. It was... The, it was a night where, so everyone in water polo, it was the big dinner. And so it was senior speeches. And all summer long, the seniors were very much stone-faced. I've, I've never seen them, like, show any emotion. But when they were talking about how they loved, they loved the struggle, they loved all of their high school experience, and it went by so quickly. And half of them were crying. It was a mess. And I just remember thinking, what, are the, what a bunch of lunatics, like, why are you feeling this way? And it's come full circle with me, and I understand why. Because even though high school obviously has its ups and downs, it's not perfect. It is still overall a great experience to have. And what I would tell my younger self is to enjoy all of it, the good and the bad, and to just accept it as it is and use it. And use it not only as like an important part of your life, but also something you can stage your life off of. Absolutely. Does any, do any of the other panelists have anything to add as kind of a big one? It's also the last one. Yeah, sure. Oh, Tara, yeah. Um. I guess kind of short and sweet. Don't waste your time stressing. Um, you can stress. I mean, you, you should sometimes. It's totally normal. But don't let it consume you. Uh, take things as they are. Accept them. And yeah, just like Max and Ryan said, enjoy every moment while you can. And Kate? Sorry, this is less cute, but um, like, I, I've realized recently that like this is the last time in my life without any like serious responsibility, you know, like this is the last time where like I can go out and like be with my friends and I'm not worried about like some of the things that you are like in your college and adult life. So like savor like the innocence and like the freedom that you have right now um, and like just like ride that wave for as long as you can because it's just awesome and it'll go quick. That's all. That hit me too recently. Um, Emma? This kind of adds on to what Kate was saying was like, it's your last few years of no responsibility, but it's your, also your last few years at home. So just like, I know as teenagers, you don't always want to spend time with your parents or with your siblings or family members, but do acknowledge them. Take the time to just be with your family and enjoy like Christmas and Thanksgiving with them because it will be different once you graduate and that's kind of started hitting me as like this is our last Thanksgiving when I don't have to travel to come home or just like making that extra effort so just enjoy being here with your family and your friends because it's gonna go faster than you think. Those were all great responses. Thanks, you guys. Awesome, guys. I just wanted to, to jump in at the end here and, and say uh, 
I'm not just saying this. I was pretty blown away um, with the things that you guys said. Um, super proud of the panel um, for being real um, and saying it like like you mean it. Um, it's interesting. You all have different experiences, but there's a lot of similar uh, uh, things that we all want to say, which is which is great. I think that's that's the whole point. You know, high school is different for everyone, but at the same time, when you look back on it, I think we all seek out the same things as humans. Um, and it's been really touching listening to you guys. Um, people in the audience, I hope, so we will be making it into a, a video and having it available. Um, tell your friends, hopefully you thought it was cool because I, I think there's some really good information out there that freshmen would really benefit from. Um, and I just wanted to thank you guys again. I know how busy, I, I know all of you actually personally, so I know how busy all of you are. And so I really appreciate you guys coming um, and giving your time to others. That's a really cool thing as well. So um, with that said, I just wanted to thank the panel and the audience. You guys are busy too. So we appreciate you coming and um, stay tuned. And hopefully you took something out of anything they said. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Thank you guys. Thank you guys.